Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about five of the biggest, biggest mistakes made in Jamaica in the last couple of years. And this has to do with transportation. Now, we're not going to rank them, we're just going to talk about five. So today we're going to talk about one of the five. And that mistake was made back in 2009-2010 when the government at the time, which was the Jamaica Labour Party, decided to upgrade the Bosco Bell Aerodrome to an international airport. This is located in Ocho Rios. Now that was a big mistake. They should have built a new airport closer to Ocho Rios, or between Ocho Rios and Montego Bay that could serve the Ocho Rios area. But the biggest mistake that was made was that the runway Okay, the reason why upgrading that airport was one of the biggest mistakes in Jamaica is because the runway at the airport is 1,114 meters. When that airport was upgraded to an international airport, they did not extend the runway. So that was a major mistake and that is why they should not have upgraded the Bosco Bell aerodrome they should have built a new airport that had a runway of at least 2700 meters a runway that twice the size of what is available at the Ian Fleming International Airport it the airport was officially opened in 2012 and between 2012 and 2024 do you know how many international flights have come in or how many airlines fly from the US to that airport one American Airlines started in February 2024 so between 2012 and January 2024, no U.S. carrier flew to the Ian Fleming International Airport. The airport is literally a ghost town. Now, as to why in 2009 when they were spending these millions of dollars to upgrade the airport, they didn't think of extending the runway. It's because it's not that easy. There is no more space for the runway at the airport. Remember, it was an aerodrome that would fly, that flights would fly from Kingston or Negril to Bosco Bell. That was a huge mistake, and Jamaica is paying for it dearly now. Because, can you imagine? Okay, let me just go through the runway length in Jamaica. The longest runway is at the Montego Bay Airport, the Sangsta International Airport. That airport is three that runway is three thousand and sixty meters versus the Ian Fleming which is one thousand one hundred and fourteen meters. It's Ian Fleming is basically a third this, the length of the runway at Montego Bay. Norman Manley has a runway of two thousand seven hundred and sixteen meters. So why would someone upgrade an aerodrome to an international airport to serve the second busiest um, tourist place in Jamaica, which is Ocho Rios, with a runway that cannot land a 747? It cannot land a 737. No, the planes that can land at the Ian Fleming because the airport the runway is 1114 are the smaller planes that can carry 71 passengers versus a A320 that can carry hundreds now currently American Airlines is flying into the Ian Fleming International Airport with their American Eagle 
plane, the, the American Eagle brand. Now, you're carrying in 71 people twice a week. That's 140 people a week. The Montego Bay, sorry, the Sangster International Airport located in Montego Bay can, can takes in up to 4,000 passengers an hour. They have over 40,000 flights a year. That is an international airport. And the thing that, why this is such, a, the Ian Fleming Airport was such a mistake, is that people want to come to Ocho Rios. If they had a real international airport to service Ocho Rios, thousands of flights would come in a year. Right now, most of the major carriers don't fly these small planes because it's more economical to have more the planes that can carry more people, you make more money. So this airport was a huge mistake. One of the five biggest mistakes made. And we're going to do another video another time as to why we think this airport was upgraded. Knowing fully well the 1114 meter runway would not be, there is no space to extend it without rerouting the traffic on the main road and building a tunnel for the traffic and major 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 infrastructure while they should have just built a new airport and right now the Sangster International Airport is bursting at the seams because of the amount of traffic that goes there every week you hear about a new airline flying into the Sangster International Airport Suppose those very same flights could land at the at an airport in Ocherius with a proper runway, a real international airport. It would have made such a difference. Everybody in Ocherius is so excited with 140 passengers coming in. Can you imagine how Ocherius would change if you had an airport that could carry in 2,000 passengers an hour? Remember now, the Sangster International Airport, you have 40,000 flights, over 40,000 flights a year coming in versus the Ian Fleming at uh, two a week. That's 104 flights for the year versus 40,000. I mean, Jamaica could have its tourist numbers much, much higher. But when you land in Montego Bay, you have to drive for two hours to get to Negril or Ocho Rios. And sometimes the drive from the airport to your hotel is longer than the flight from the U.S. to Jamaica. So, I would suggest that another airport be built on the north coast. One that has a runway of at least... 3,000 meters so that you can um, have a real international airport. Now, just to give you some perspective, we're going to talk about the runway length in, in feet. The Ian Fleming International Airport, the runway is 3,656 feet. Sangsta International Airport, 10,039 feet. Ian Fleming International Airport, 3,656 feet. Norman Manley, 8,911 feet. I have no idea what the thought process was when they decided to make the Boscobel Aerodrome an international airport with a runway of 3,656 feet. It is what you call a mistake. And Jamaica is paying for it now because Ocherius could do so much better. We could have so many more tourists coming into Jamaica if we had a second international airport on the north coast. Now, I hope this never happens, but can you imagine if something should happen 
at the Montego Bay, at the Sanctuary International Airport in Montego Bay, and that airport has to close for a few days or weeks. Do you know what that would mean for tourism in Jamaica? The other day there was an issue at the airport and the runway had to be closed for a few hours. And there's no other airport on the north coast to land these planes. They cannot land at the Ian Fleming International Airport. The runway is too short. I have no idea why they, why they call that an international airport. But the runway is too short. And it was a huge mistake upgrading the airport without extending the runway. And to extend that runway, you might as well build a new airport. The cost it, that it would have, the, what it would cost. And I'm, I think it's one of the five biggest mistakes. Alright guys, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. Alright guys, have a good day.